Maybe you're wondering, what is a safe recipe? A safe recipe incorporates basic food safety steps. So when you, or anyone, uses the recipe, you'll be reducing your risk of food poisoning. The Partnership for Food Safety Education's Safe Recipe Style Guide walks you through the process of writing a safe recipe. Let's use this family favorite as an example. Greek salad with yogurt lemon chicken. Before you write your recipe, be sure to have the Safe Recipe Style Guide handy. Multiple studies show that when cooks follow recipes incorporating basic food safety steps, they significantly increase food safety behaviors. Watch how easy it is. All you need to do is add the pre-written steps from the style guide. Not all the steps will fit your recipe, so use only the ones that do. The first step in any recipe is to wash hands with soap and water before beginning any food preparation. You should also add the hand washing step anytime you touch raw meat or poultry to avoid cross-contamination. Make sure to add a step on washing cutting boards, counters, and utensils after every time raw meats are used. Other steps you may need to add include not rinsing raw poultry or meats and not reusing marinades used on raw foods. Next step, rinse any uncut produce. Gently rub produce under cold running water. For firm produce like potatoes or cucumbers, scrub with a clean vegetable brush under running water. For the final step, make sure food is cooked to a safe internal temperature using a food thermometer. As you can see, it's really that simple. Be sure to review the recipe when you're done to verify you've added all the steps from the style guide. Don't forget to use the steps from the style guide every time you write a recipe or prepare your meals. For more information about safe food handling and preventing food poisoning, check out fightback.org. Be sure to follow us. Thank you for watching.